Uh, this is Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. I never expected that I'd be doing another video uh, this quickly, but I've just come across something um, quite by accident on Facebook that just made my jaw drop and stopped me in my tracks. I'm just going to share that with you. So it's this. Uh, this uh, came on Facebook uh, today. The end of the road. North Pole and open waters now expected within 90 hours or less. And uh, this is uh, a picture of the uh, sea ice. Is that surface temperature? Anyway, um, there we are. So just going to. This is from Veli Albert Kallio. I hope I've got your uh, pronunciation right. Uh, but he says, Danish Meteorological Institute (DMI) forecasts blue waters reaching the North Pole within 90 hours. Ships can now sail in open water all the way to 90 degrees north within 90 hours from the eastern direction. The ice cap is also detached from all land connections, first time ever stranding polar bears at sea on ice flows driven away from land. Many bears are falling into soft ice and perishing right now. Nuclear submariners are having difficulties hiding their submarines as open water is reaching them almost anywhere and risk of collisions between US and Russian submarines is growing, uh, being also doing passing in close proximity. Engine noises are also revealing locations. I'm sorry about the, the English is not quite correct. Uh, sea ice on eastern flank of Greenland and north of it have both spectacularly collapsed. And that's his picture. The collapse of the North Pole ice cap is falling um, something rather fast, like a house of cards falling down. Ice blocks heading now to North Atlantic warm waters. One 100 meters thick ice shelf also collapsed yesterday with 81 kilometers long iceberg coming. And uh, this is uh, from JAXA. It's a picture of ice sea, ice melt, extent ratio. Um, yeah, so there we are. And I was going to make a video um, just giving, trying to be conservative, a lot more conservative uh, than this. So, um, This is, uh, I haven't got the picture, I was going to mark it up, I just don't have the skills or the technical ability, but a few weeks ago I was saying that everywhere outside of this area here, um, in turquoise, which is, uh, you know, thick, slightly thicker, not, uh, two meter thick ice would be probably the only ice that would survive. Um, now that was on the um, the 10th of July. The situation's a lot worse. I haven't got the sea thickness here, but I do have this, and this just paints uh, the picture. You can see, uh, I mean, it's all broken down here, and you can see where it's already breaking up. The concentration here is about, I think, 70%. It's breaking down on the edges here, uh, and the only area left really, according to this, was here. So I've sort of, I said um, earlier that I didn't think that any ice um, further north than the 90, 80 degree parallel would uh, survive. So I've just marked up the picture, same picture, and this here, this is probably because of the icebergs are sort of flowing down into the warmer uh, Atlantic waters. 
but the only this is the 80 degree north mark which is just slightly north of Svalbard and the only areas left uh, are these are these ones but of course if I look both at this and the report I've had uh, the situation is a lot more dire um, <laughs> I'm still being conservative so I'm not going to mention the uh, the epithet uh, um, blue ocean event at least not yet so anyway oh god uh, uh, that's enough uh, from me um, from uh, Seymour Rocks uh, reporting from down under um, yeah I'm feeling a bit emotional about this <laughs>